They, they, they say often that uh, the devil is in the details. These people, you, these areas of uh, life that you've mentioned, um, you know, the, the central bank, uh, the economy, and uh, the judiciary, the details, it's what we've been talking about. Now that we have a case like this, you said it, that uh, Nigerians can really be, 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 you know, crying hallelujah. We, we've escaped the yes. bullet uh, this time but we now need to keep it there, yes. uh, whatever it's going to take, because Nigeria was very, very lucky. Uh, everybody is saying... It was even, is it that we sink or we, we swim or swink? And we must not allow this to happen uh, Yes, again. and God just gave us a window. Uh, and part of that is, I think... We should the, do a, a reappraisal. The, the government has to do that. Sober reflection. Yes. In-house cleaning. Now the contention is over. It is clear that this, uh, this company by these two Irishmen set up exclusively to defraud, to defraud Nigeria, Nigeria. Uh, it has been spoiled it, it has been called what it is now the next step yeah, is now, it says the company was deliberately prepared yes prepared the, for the, bribery for bribery so the collaborators the engine of fraud the collaborators in Nigeria should not most, go go scot free they should not go scot free uh, even if it is no more than just name them and shame them so we know they can't come out again because the tenacity of Nigerians can be something else. In as long as those who are involved in this are not named, even if they say shame is sometimes a very rare commodity, at least they're not named, they will show up at other deal tables. Yes. Saying that, look, this is what I do. This is a fresh new day. No, it's not a fresh new day. It's like, uh, I think it was President Buhari who said it in his time, that it's not going to be business as usual. Okay.